I'm James Petrakis. My wife and I are the owners of Ravenous Pig. Uh, we were born and raised here in Winter Park. Um, met in New York uh, at CIA. Um, ended up moving to New York together and always had dreams of coming back to where we're from here in Winter Park and opening a restaurant. My grandfather, when he came from Greece, owned diners in Tarpon Springs, Gainesville, uh, a couple of bars in Gainesville, uh, also in Connecticut. His brother owned some diners. Uh, my father's still in the restaurant business. So it was kind of a natural progression for me. The story behind the Ravenous Pig is we kicked around a lot of ideas. Um, we wanted to name it something with a pig, and Ravenous stirred emotions. Most people said it was the worst idea I've ever had, um, and that everyone would equate Southern with pig to barbecue. It just sort of stirs emotion, and you know what, you can't really take yourself that seriously when you're called the Ravenous Pig. And uh, that's kind of what our philosophy is. It's come in, be yourself, but we're gonna give you food that you should be getting at something you'd think was a little more trendy or upscale. The dishes we're known for the most um, that don't change on the menu, it's about 25%, is the rock shrimp tacos, the shrimp and grits, the steak frites, and then the burger. Everyone knows the burger. Everything else changes daily, um, major changes every month. The inspiration for my food or my belief in philosophy and food, um, my wife as well, is seasonality, number one, but I think it's comfort food. It's, it's taking things that people are familiar with and kind of giving it a twist that's more refined and things that people couldn't probably do at home. So people think it's very simple, but it's actually, there's a lot of depths of flavor. One of our philosophies is making everything from scratch. We got lucky in the fact that when we, were, when we started this in Orlando, there was a lot of towns of people who didn't have a restaurant like this to show their craft. It was a lot of chain restaurants. And Julie and I said, you know what, we're gonna work long, hard hours and we're gonna demand that from you. But you know what, you're gonna take a pride in what we're making because we're making everything from scratch, whether it's ketchup, mustard, biscuits. This is our profession and we take it very seriously and the people who work here take it very seriously. So I believe in the craft of cooking and making everything. The James Beard Award is kind of, I guess you could say the Oscars of culinary. This is the second year I've been nominated for Best Chef South, Julie and, and, Julie and myself. Um, and again, I think this is tribute to my staff. They're the only reason we got nominated, really. Um, they've taken this place to another level. This building was originally actually a, a restaurant that I kind of grew up coming to. It was called Andros. Uh, it was a Greek restaurant. Um, I totally gutted it, redid it. Um, we put all the brick up, we cut all the holes into it to kind of open it up and give it the feel that we wanted it to have. The Edison bulbs are ideas that we got from New York and our experience in Atlanta and designs that we saw that we liked. It kind of gave it more of an industrial look. The, the photos in the bar are kind of a, a funny story. When we, when we purchased this building, um, that was purple foam because it was a Moroccan hookah lounge. We couldn't, we started to tear down the foam and we realized that would probably take us a month to tear it down. So my designer, my lighting designer, we were all kind of kicking around ideas and he's like, hey, I've done this old photo thing that'll give it depth. Let's just paint the ceiling black. Give me all the old photos you have because it's kind of a family thing and we'll drop them over the ceiling and it'll just kind of go away. And it actually ended up probably being the best thing we ever did and it came out of we had no idea what to do with this purple foam rave ceiling that was in there. This restaurant's important to us um, and the community because this is our neighborhood. And uh, Julie and I believe that we want to give something back to where we were raised, the people we know, the people we grew up with. All of our family is here. Um, so we want to give our neighborhood what we believe is a good restaurant. So the pig roast or the idea behind the roast was more of a neighborhood thing. It was. Saturday afternoon, it actually started because I give my sous chef off Saturday mornings. So I was like, let's do a really basic barbecue. Get the neighborhood, we're gonna you know, give them beer, give them barbecue every first Saturday. We're booked up solid. We smoke pigs, it's evolved into clam bakes, it's evolved into roasting cows, lambs. It sort of has evolved into a neighborhood barbecue almost. Here at the Ravenous Pig, we have uh, kind of two different styles of dining. Um, that was definitely purposely done. My wife and I wanted to have a more casual uh, neighborhood feel during the day and during our roast. 
and then at night we felt like people could get dressed up and come in for a, a little more elegant, um, a little bit nicer experience um, and experience our food in a different way. Friday or Saturday night, um, even Thursday night in a lot of ways, um, really becomes almost a, a party. You know, tables seem to know each other, they're, they're conversing in the, in the dining room, and uh, it just becomes a very fun atmosphere. The bar is completely packed, usually two or three deep. Um, so it really feels like you're out on the town, um, maybe in a little bit bigger city than, than we are. Um, it has that feel just because of the confined spaces and the way the lights are and just the, the people that are in here. It really becomes a very festive atmosphere. Um, and we wanted to give a place where someone could come in on Tuesday or Wednesday um, and have a burger and a beer and then maybe on Friday and Saturday they could come in you know, with their wife or with a date and get dressed up and feel comfortable in both ways, um, kind of like the roast is, um, but done in a little bit nicer way. And, and really, it, it's why we open this restaurant, because it's why we, why we do this. We enjoy you know, the dinner service and just the whole atmosphere that surrounds it, people having a good time, uh, drinking wine, drinking beer, cocktails, um, and just sort of enjoying themselves. Uh, we try and do as many events as we can to foster the community and make it you know, more of a successful neighborhood. Um, that being said, we also try and foster growth within the culinary profession, and that comes from joining up with Lake Cordon Bleu, who is a, a local culinary school, and teaching. I mean, um, I, I feel like this is a craft that if you're not teaching, then there's no reason to really be in it, because if someone took the time to teach us, we would love to take the time to teach someone else. We always try and have two or three young cooks that want to learn and foster their growth. The difference in the ravenous pig really is the belief in the ravenous pig by the workers and the customers. I think we've created a community that believes in us, our, our workers believe in this place, and, and it shows. I mean, the, the, the level, the quality level is great because people take pride in what they're doing here. We're trying to be better.